Now multiplying and dividing fractions is actually quite easy if you learn the basic rules. Now when we times fractions together it doesn't matter about having the same denominator. All we do is we times the two top numbers 5 times 2 is 10 and times the two bottom numbers 7 times 9 is 63. And that really is the answer. Now in the second example we have an integer times by a fraction. Now the trick here is to imagine 5 as 5 over 1. Then 5 times 2 is 10 and 1 times 11 is 11. So the answer is 10 over 11. So times in fractions is really rather easy. Now to divide fractions we do an initial trick, which is we flip over or find the reciprocal of the fraction we are dividing by. So 2 over 3 becomes 3 over 2, and we replace the divide by a times. These two questions are equivalent. We then use our previous mathematics, 5 times 3 is 15, 2 times 7 is 14, which we could also write as 1 and 1 14th, because there's 1 14 and 15, remainder 1. The final example, we have one of these integers again, a whole number, so we write 5 as 5 over 1, we then reciprocate or flip the second fraction and turn the divide into a times. And then 5 times 3 is 15, 1 times 1 is 1, so the answer is just 15. So when we times, we times the tops and the bottoms. When we divide, we reciprocate the second fraction and turn the divide into a times. And that's all there is to it.